Whenever Houdini gets a new update, there's always a ton of different things that have been changed, and there's a lot of stuff that is pretty easy to miss, but it's nonetheless still important. So let's take a look at one of those new features. So I'm gonna drop down a stop create, and we're gonna look at the ray node. So this is something that I use quite a bit and it got an update here to add this direction type. So we have forward, reverse, and bidirectional now. So let's look at what this kind of means. So let's drop down an add node. And I'm gonna add a point here. I'm also going to add a grid down, just to give us some geometry to project our objects onto. Let's flip our scene the correct way. And I'm gonna move this down um, in the Y. So let's move this down. And then I'm going to drop down a transform. And I'm just going to move this one up above the uh, origin here, the ground plane. Let's merge these together. And we can use this as our geometry for the ray. Now, the ray node, we have our point here in the center at the origin. And you can use the ray node to project using the normal a vector or an attribute. Personally, I like to just do it with the normal, so I'm going to add in an attribute wrangle. I think it's pretty easy to see what's going on when you use the normal. So we'll do v at n is equal to, and then we'll set the normal to be in the y direction. So up in the y, and you can see that it's going to snap to our grid just automatically here. If I go ahead and turn on our normals, you can see that this is pointing straight up. So it's being casted straight up onto this grid because we have this set to the direction type of forward, but we also have reverse, so we can just shoot that backwards. Or we can do bi-directional, which gives us a couple of different options here. We have either the closest hit or the farthest hit. So by default, it's going to be set to the closest hit, which you can see this grid is closer. And as I start to move this one around, it becomes even more apparent that that one is closer. But if I bring this closer to the origin here, you can see that it's going to snap to that top one because that becomes the new closest to the point. So it's going to go still based off of your normal, uh, but it shoots in both directions and it's going to see which one is going to be closest. You can also do the farthest hit and then it'll snap to the other one as well. But it's going to just allow you to kind of choose that without having to you know, go back and forth. Or you can have it uh, kind of snap as it gets closer to the object. Maybe you got something animated or something and uh, you want your point to snap back and forth or you want you know, whatever you're, you're raying to snap back and forth. And then this is going to be a, a great way to do that. So um, something that has been requested for uh, a while now. So glad to see that that has entered into Houdini. Uh, specifically Houdini 21. So make sure that you're on that. If you are you know, still on 20.5, you're not going to have this. So new to 21, uh, just a small little update, something that's easy to miss, but I wanted to just point that out as something that is now in there. So anyways, hopefully this helped you out. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.